Hey YouTube, this is Anthony with the Own This channel. We're going to talk on this video about starting our project of converting the factory 5 liter EFI harness to a standalone harness. In the descriptions, I'm going to add some links to some useful information. Some of it's going to be about the tools we'll use, some of it will be about uh, some of the components that we'll be using, some of it will be about the drawings and um, that we'll be using and wiring diagrams. So I'm going to take this over to the camera over to the table and I'm going to pull some of the components, some of the tools out and we'll, uh, we'll talk about what we need. All right guys, we're back. We're going to talk about some of the components that we're going to be needing f to convert this harness. One is relays. There's um, several relays. There's actually four relays that we're going to be wiring in uh, and we'll talk about those at a little later date. But there's going to be ways that we can go about this. So what I have here are, this is a standard Bosch relay. It has a pigtail already wired into it. Uh, these are pretty easy to deal with. They're color coded. This one actually has a fuse built into it so it can protect the circuit, which is pretty awesome. Uh, when I was looking for those, I found couple of little modules so this module here can hold the relay and these sockets here but also on this section here we can put our fuses it has to be wired in uh, you have to put all the terminals on all the wires and there's no common bus which means there's no common hot or t 12 volts on it so everything has to be individually wired you can make that great or it may be something that you're not interested in so for guys that are using something in a jeep or a bronco or something that's intended to go off-road i found this which is pretty 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 awesome so this is the same setup except for it has a sealed cover and gaskets to cover your wiring for uh, the relays and then we have these little individual wires here to cover the wires for your fuses to make this a water proof I don't really want to call it waterproof without knowing but let's just say a water resistant um, relay slash fuse panel so with these you're gonna have these individual these are non insulated connectors Terminals would be a better uh, terminology for that, actually. So each wire has to be terminated on these terminals, whether it's for this waterproof section or this section that's non-waterproof. The beauty about either one of these is it's going to give you more of a factory look. It'll also be self-contained. So instead of having to put these on a board and then run separate wires to everything and hide that. Everything can be put in one thing. This can be mounted. There's mounting uh, places here. So this can be mounted under a dash or in an engine compartment. This actually has uh, mounting holes and there are um, separate brackets to mount this too. Uh, again, it could be in a engine compartment could be in the uh, cab or whatever um, but they're both great options so getting on past that let's talk about some of the tools that we're gonna have to have to make that work so I showed you these non insulated terminals and these are specific more for these these uh, standalone or I'm sorry these self-contained uh, relay and fuse boxes. I got this kit. You can buy them just about anywhere. This kit's got uh, insulated terminals and butt splices. Sorry about the glare there. But it's you can get this at almost any store. Any automotive store, uh, any hardware store will have these. So get some of these if you're going to go the route of these individual relays like this. Because we're going to be making butt splices on these wires here. I personally prefer soldering and heat shrink, 
but these definitely can be used. When it comes to crimpers, you're gonna need a crimper, a decent crimper. So this is a set of Klein crimpers. Um, they've got two different crimping dies. So the die is the part that actually does the crimping. You have a non-insulated die and an insulated die. So these could be used for this type that doesn't have any insulation on it or the kit that I showed you. This set of crimpers I have here are only for the non-insulated terminals. So they're specific to um, the size. They crimp the wire and they crimp around the insulation so that you can't pull the wire out of the terminal itself. So sometimes if a wire gets pinched or it gets pulled or whatever, it can literally pull the wire out of the terminal. So bad news bears that happens. So if we're gonna go with the non-insulated, we need to put some type of heat shrink tube on the terminal to keep the bare metal from potentially touching something and causing a short or a uh, high resistive connection and those issues are going to have blow fuses or burn up um, links i'm trying to remember what fusible links you're going to burn up fusible links so you can get several different types i've got uh, different colors different sizes these are just uh, you can again get these at almost any hardware store you can get those at almost any automotive store and they're they're great for bundling up wires if we make a splice we can uh, we can shrink this on there to give it a great non-conductive you know wrap so like i said i personally if you're gonna do a butt splice like to solder and heat shrink so i've showed you the heat shrink this is the soldering gun that I might be using for parts of it. It is pretty powerful, so sometimes if you don't have a feel, you can burn a wire up pretty quick. They make the pencil type. I don't have one available right this second to show you. Uh, that can be used for our project. So if you don't have uh, a gun like this, this is a, this is a 140 watt gun, so it's pretty powerful. Uh, as far as you can get heat pretty fast, really fast, actually. And so this gun is going to do soldering, and that's what I prefer. Some people don't like it. Some people do. This is your choice. I got a meter, and this is a, um, we're going to be using the meter to check continuity on our uh, harness from pin to connector. We also can use this to make sure we don't have any uh, shorts in our wire. So once we get this stuff together, we can we can check our resistance from our wire to ground. We can check it from a wire to another wire, wire to the computer case, any of those. We can also later on, if we need to check with troubleshooting, we can check for voltage and uh, so on and so forth. So when we wrap up our harness when we strip it all down we're going to take these are just little wire ties they're cheap you can get those in any hardware store also and we're going to bundle up our wires so it's much easier to lay out once we lay everything out what i like to do is i got some painters tape uh, and a sharpie is this to take and label all of our things we can label just the pin we can label the pin and what it is so in for instance, if we want to say the EGR uh, plug, we can tape the plug. We can label EGR plug. If it's a specific ground, we can label uh, ground for whatever component. If it's something like for the coil, for instance, we can label the two wires that go to the coil and label that coil. Obviously, later on when we pull our stuff out, we're like, what is this? We know it's a coil. So if you don't want to use these, no big deal. Hey, look, get you some electrical tape. It's cheap. You can take it off, put it on several hundred thousand times if you really want to. And it's really good about sticking to itself. 
obviously, and we can use that later when we wind up our whole harness. So I hope this is uh, pretty valuable to you guys. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we're going to start making some more videos. I have a harness coming in in just a few days. I'm going to start stripping that down, each component. Again, look in the links. I'm going to link the, uh, the drawings, some helpful information that you might need, and a link to some of these components like the relays and the, um, the standalone boxes. So thanks, guys. I hope you all enjoy the video. 